same soldier. A battlefield for uh, the Lord. Uh, we are thankful and grateful for uh, you have given us. We want to thank God and uh, give him praise, give him glory, and magnify his holy and righteous name to the highest that without him we can do nothing. We certainly appreciate each and every one to sacrifice and took time out for your business schedules to be with this gospel and revival meeting. Yes, and we just thank you from the bottom of our heart for supporting this wonderful congregation that those that are members of. It might be those that not share our religious conviction to let you know that you are a guest. And we hope, trust, and pray that something will be said to encourage you to open your Bibles and see what are those things that are so. We're not here trying to whip up on anybody. We're not here trying to assault or embarrass. All that we try to do is try to show you what thus said of the Lord. And we hope, trust, and pray that when the lesson is over, that some man, some woman, boy, or girl be able to come down the aisle, give Brother King their hand and give God the heart. And confess the sweet of Tom, the model man, that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. And go down and live your tomb of baptism for the missions of, of your sins. And if those that are different congregations are members of the large church, which is the Church of Christ, we certainly appreciate you. I'm talking about our sister congregations. Those that are uh, surrounding areas are also to come and support this uh, uh, great effort. Uh, that the Union Street Church of Christ are doing. And certainly we appreciate uh, the time and we appreciate for encouragement and as well. And we certainly appreciate, can't thank Brother King enough. And not only the great Brother King, but the congregation, the brothers and the sisters coming together, see the vision, the goal, and the edification. I tell you, I'm just overwhelmed. Uh, brother and sister Don's overwhelmed for the red carpet treatment that y'all have given this old country boy that lives in Temple, Texas. And I tell you, we just appreciate everyone from Brother Calvin and not only Brother uh, Davis and Brother King. Man, we just have a job for time. I, I, I've been here just a pretty short time I'm trying to know some of your names. <laughs> Amen. Brother Taylor and Brother Griffin and Brother Bird song, and I said, I'm getting the name of Brother Garrett. And, and y'all are both just like Brother James back then. Amen. Uh, yeah, I, I, in other words, y'all are both just like celebrities. <laughs> but let you know, we certainly appreciate. We appreciate for the invitation. Uh, I just don't know what to say from the bottom of my heart. Just thank you, thank you, thank you. I tell everybody everywhere I go, and I've been to a lot of places. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody yes, who can save everybody, everybody, and his name is Jesus Christ. Amen. And we hope, trust, and pray that something we said tonight to encourage all of us, not just you, but Sister Nelson and I as well, that we can do what God has us to do. And the great work that y'all doing here, let me tell you, it's a blessing. It's a blessing. Y'all have some talent here. Y'all have some skill here. Amen. I wish I'd take some of y'all back to tell them, but I know I can't. Amen. So we just appreciate Brother King and just thank you all for the bottom of our heart. And I, uh, I, I want to give him a lesson. I want to hold uh, too long because we know about this, uh, 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 this virus, a variant, is still trying to creep up. And so uh, we want to get in our lesson. But uh, if you have your Bibles this evening, turn with me. Matthew, the 14th chapter, 22nd through the 23rd, uh, 33rd verse, I'm sorry. Matthew, the 14th chapter, 22nd through the 33rd verse. If you have everybody say amen. 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 Straightway, yes, Jesus constrained his disciples to get into a ship and go before him onto the other side. While he sent the multitude away. And when he had sent the multitude away, 
He went up into a mountain apart to pray. And when the evening was come, he was there alone. But the ship was now in the midst of the sea, tossed with waves, for the wind was contrary. And in the fourth watch of the night, Jesus went unto them walking on the sea. And when the disciples saw him walking on the sea, they were troubled, saying, It is a, a spirit. And they cried out for fear. But straightway, Jesus spake unto them, saying, Be of a, a good cheer. It is I. Be not afraid. And Peter answered him and said, Lord, if it be, bid me to come unto the water. And he said, Come. And Peter was come down out of the ship and out on the water to go to Jesus. But when he saw the wind mysteriously, he was afraid and beginning to sink. He cried, Lord, saying, Lord, uh, save me. And immediately, Jesus stretched forth his hand and uh, called him, Oh, thou little faith, wherefore did I doubt? Verse 32 says, And when they were coming to the ship, the wind ceased. Uh, when they were in the ship, came and worshiped him, saying of a truth, Thou art the Son of God. The text that I have shared for this evening shall stand at the basis of our thinking together. I want to use for a subject for this evening. Jesus is our bridge of troubled waters. Jesus is our bridge over troubled waters. I look over the heart and I see Brother Cottingham over there. <laughs> Amen. It's good to see him. Church, when I look at my text here uh, this evening, I find that after Jesus just got through feeding the multitude of people, and it seemed to appear to me that his disciples would seem to be a little disturbed. They were troubled, agitated of the fact that Jesus had sent them away a ship to go across the other sea. And while he went up to the mountain and prayed, certainly I can see a magic because it seemed like a little strange that Jesus had sent them on the other ship. A disciples had always been with Jesus. They traveled together on many occasions. But Jesus wanted to pray to his heavenly Father. And not only that, but you can see that Jesus is just like us in the way to deal with. He was tired. He was exhausted. In other words, but in this case, this episode, it was a little different. And the disciples failed to realize that Jesus was tired, just like you get tired. Yes, sir. Oh, yes. You get exhausted. You get worn out every now and then. Jesus needed some rest. Jesus needed to spend some quality time with his father. Oh yes, in prayer. And when it was late in the evening, right. as you know the story, there was a storm had blown in and started rocking, started shaking the boat. From one side to another. Yes, and the Bible said the wind was very contrary. The wind was thrown in the sea. Yes. yes, my brothers and sisters, people don't understand. Jesus is just like you and I. We have our hurt. 
have our pains and we have our infirmities and griefs and sorrow. Uh, Brother King, if you will, give me Hebrews uh, uh, 4 chapter 14 and 15 verse. Hebrews 4 chapter verse 14 and 15 verse. I want to share something with you. In other words, uh, he's our living example. Yes, Hebrews 4, verse 14 and 15. Say it again. Now the Bible says, see in thee. That we have a great high priest. We have a great high priest. Watch this. That is passed into the heaven. That is passed into the heaven. Jesus, the Son of God. Jesus, the Son of God. Watch this. Let us. Read. Hold fast our profession. Hold fast our profession. Read on. For we have not a high priest. We have not a high priest. Which cannot be touched. That cannot be touched. With the feeling of our infirmity. With the feelings of our infirmity. He had a hurt, pain just like we do. Read on. But was in all points. But was in all points. Read. Tempted like as we are. Just thinking that like we are. Come yet on. Without sin. Yet without sin. Let us. Let us. Therefore, come boldly. That's come boldly. Now hold it right there. Go to Isaiah 53 and verse number 1. Uh -huh. In other words, he's tempted just like we are. Got the same little feelings of family just like we are. Yes, sir. And the Bible says, look what the Bible says. Who Isaiah 53 and verse number 1. Who hath believed our report? Who hath believed our report? And to whom is the arm of the Lord revealed? Read on. This is Isaiah for him as a tender plant. Come on now. And as a root out of dry ground. Out of root out of dry ground. He had no form nor comeliness. He had no form nor comeliness. And we shall see him there is no beauty. No way I'm talking about him. Jesus. Read. He is despised and rejected of me. He despised, rejected of me. A man of sorrow. Read on. A man of sorrow. Oh, a man of sorrow. Just like we have sorrow. Read. And acquainted with grief. Oh, acquainted with grief. And we hid as it were our faces from him. And we hid the faces from him. He was despised. He was despised. And esteemed him not. Esteemed him not. Read. Surely. Surely. He hath borne our grief. He borne our grief. And carried our sorrow. And carried our sorrow. Yet we did esteem him stricken. And we did esteem him stricken. All right, stop there. Go Matthew 4 and verse number 1. Right. Not only that he's grief, man of sorrow. But look, he tempted just like we tempted. Yes, In other words, we are just like him. And the Bible lets us know. He lets us know dealing with suffering. And the Bible by being tempted. Jesus lets us know when he got through being baptized by John the so baptizer. He was led up of the spirit into the wilderness. Of the spirit up in the wilderness. To be tempted of the devil. Oh, like we tempted, been tempted of the devil. And look what happened. And when he had fasted 40 days, we had fasted 40, night. 40 days and 40 nights. Let me tell you. And hunger. Oh, let me tell you. When you haven't eaten 40 days and 40 nights, you show up is hungry. Sometimes we can go two hours without eating. Man, it's hard. He fasted 40 days and 40 nights. Yes, sir. And, and the Bible says what? And when the tempter came down. When the tempter came, that's the devil. His other name is the tempter. That's what he does. He tempted Jesus, he tempted us. Read. He said. He said. If thou be the son of God. If thou be the son of God. He, let me tell you, that way no fool. He know who, you, who Jesus was. Read on. Command that these stones Command to be, be bread. But look what Jesus says. But he answered and said. He answered and said. It is written. It is written. Man shall not live by bread. Man shall not live by bread alone. But I have heard that the seed out of the mouth of God. Read on. Then the devil taking him up. Oh, the devil. He's not doing it there. He's going to take you up now. To the holy city. To the holy city. And set it him on a pinnacle of the temple. And what did he say? And said unto him, If thou be the son of God. Oh, if thou be the son of God. Cast thyself down. Cast thyself down. But it is written. But Jesus said, it's winter. He shall give his angels charge concerning he, thee. Okay, read on. And in their hand they shall burn thee up. Aha. Uh -huh. Least at any time thou dash thy foot against the stone. Okay, read on. Jesus said unto him. Jesus said unto him. It is written again. It is written again. Thou say, I told you no scripture. All right, read on. 
Again, the devil taking him up. He taking him up. Oh, he was seated high mountain. He gonna tempt him three times. Three times. Oh, and showed him all the kingdoms of the world. And hold it, hold it right there. Showed him all the kingdoms. Does it got an S behind it? Uh, yes, sir. If it got an S behind it, it ain't the church. That's the small kingdom. Try to have a one kingdom, and that's the church. Yes. Anything got an S behind it? Don't know. Don't know. And the glory of thee. And the glory of him. And said unto him, All these things will I give thee. And said, All these things that I said unto you, anything out of S, don't belong to Christ. It belongs to the devil. Can I prove yes, Brother Donaldson? The Bible says, that's what it's 521. Prove our faith. Hold fast that which is good. Don't you remember in Matthew 7? Mm -hmm. uh, Matthew the 15th chapter, verse number 7. Oh, what we call us of this. Matthew 15, chapter 3. Jesus got on these Pharisees and scribes. These Kashalah. Thinking more than anybody. So religious. What did he say? Ye hypocrites. You hypocrites. Come well, did Isaiah's prophesy to Saying, this people draw it up. Not this up people draw it now. Draw it up. With, with their mouth. With their mouth. And honor me with their and mouth. In the religious realm, giving me lip service. Read on. But their heart is far. But their heart, not this heart, their heart is far from me. Doing what? But in vain they do worship me. But in vain they do worship me. To Jesus giving credit, you should worship me, but you know, it's none of that. It's vain, me, it's empty, uh -huh. useless. You're going through the motion, you wasting your time. Read. Teach it for doctrine. Teach it for doctrine. Hold it right there. Oh, man, we're good here. <laughs> Teach it for doctrine. Hold it. Does that doctrine, does it have an S behind it? Yes, sir. If it has an S behind it, it ain't Christ's doctrine. Christ will have a one doctrine. Sing it up. And that's the doctrine of Christ. That's my second job. Get thyself holy unto them that they may appear to all. 
Then he, then he goes and say, what did he say, Brother Take Timmy? heed unto thyself. Take heed to thyself. Even though he's talking to Timothy, uh -huh. even though he's talking to a young preacher, but he knew preacher, he's talking to you too. Yes, Take heed to thyself. And unto the doctrine. What you say? Unto the doctrine. Unto the doctrine. Yes. Don't tell me doctrine don't mean nothing. It might not mean nothing to you, but it means something to God. And we know. Continue in them. And when you in that doctrine of Christ, don't stop. Continue. Like I spoke on last night. This Christian race is a continue. A race. And what? And while you continue, you shall both see thyself and them that hear you. Four chapter and verse. Yes, my brothers and sisters. My friends. And my neighbors, we got to continue with the doctrine of Christ. Yes, Everything is a continue. That's why Jesus said in Luke 9, 23, if any man will come after me, let him deny himself, take up his call daily. Not just when you feel like it, not just on a Sunday, but every day of our lives. Take up his call daily and follow me. Oh, yes. We got to show up in mind. Funny, I guess I'm saying something. Amen. Yeah, yes, sir. We have to stay yes, with the doctor. I'm talking about bridge over trouble watchers. Yes, I can imagine how his disciples was frustrated, mm -hmm. how they were disappointed, discouraged, frightened, and confused because Jesus was not there with them. And as you already know, beloved, we know that life is full of storms. Life is full of changes with ups and downs. Life is not like a smooth, bumpless road with no mountains and no valleys. But life is like a glamoration. It is a melody. It is a mixture of ups and downs. Life we have our rainy days. Yes, sir. We have our sunny days. Oh, yeah. Life, we have our mountains. And we have our valleys. Life, we have our joy. We have our sadness. Life, we have our happiness. We have our sorrows. Life, we have our pleasure. We have our pain. Life, we have our good times. And certainly, we have our bad times. Yes, Life, we have our highs and we have our lows. Church life is full of unexpected challenges. Life is full of unexpected tragedies. Life will take you into some uncharted waters. Life will cause you to dock yes, to unexpected port. Life will cast a uh, summer of unexpected territories. In other words, life is not always a, a smooth sailing. Sometimes we get overwhelmed. We get overwhelmed with life. Sometimes we don't know when we're coming or going. Many ways life is just like a, a roller coaster. It takes us up and it takes us down. It slings us from one side or to another. I remember when I was younger, Brother King. Yes, sir. I used to love to ride the roller coaster. But as I got older, I got wiser. I just let my grandchildren ride now. I watched them. But in life, watch this, but in life, you don't have a choice. Once you've been born, you cannot get off just because you want to get off. Life doesn't work that way, my brothers and sisters, my friends and my neighbors. Life is not always fair. I'm old and here I am, I know that as I grow older, I just turned 70 years old. I have to learn through experience. Yes, sir. Life is not always fair. Good things happen to bad folks. Bad stuff happen to good folks. Sometimes we find ourselves tossed about like a ship upon the bosom of an angel. 
received. We are, are scared by the unexpected. We are battered and crushed. Battered with crushing waves that pound us in this relentless in life that we become weary. Yes, sir. We become exhausted. Yes, we become disoriented. We become confused. We become frustrated, wounded, and terrified. This sometimes it seems like life be up on us and we start losing hope. We feel in despair. We feel like giving in and giving up. And it seems like we can't get our way out of blackness of the night that has developed in our lives. And I know some of you, when I know that, that I'm speaking to some of you right now, your life has become dark. You don't see much light. You are buffered and confused about what goes on in your life. Especially dealing with all this pandemic and shooting and everything that's going on. Man, I ain't never seen nothing like this. But I can imagine, that's what Paul says, 2 Timothy 3, yes, sir. and verse number 1, living, and living in the last day, you shall perilous times shall come. Amen. And brother, we live in some perilous times. Amen. Your life has become dark, and you don't see much of that. We buffer, confused, and frustrated. Then you feel question. You feel question. Lord, why me? Lord, why that? Lord, why this? Lord, all this stuff I'm going through, where, where will it end? Lord, where are you leading me? Where are you taking me? In fact, Lord, where are you? Because it feels to me, I feel like you have abandoned me. I feel like you have forgotten about me. I feel somehow you have forsaken me. All the trouble that I'm going through are right here. Yes. But David says in Psalms 13, verse number 2, no, David felt the same way. I'm talking about a man that who loved God, a man that God at the whole heart. He said in verse number 2, he said, how long shall I take counsel yes, in my soul? Having sorrow in my heart daily. How long shall my enemy be exalted over me? Church David felt the same way of despair. Oh, David felt the same way of hopelessness. David felt the same way he thought he was all alone and forsaken. He felt like God had abandoned him and isolated from the favor of the Lord. Even he could not understand why the Lord was delaying the help he so desperately needed. Church, this is what patience, patience is all about, is the wait upon the Lord. Just like the apostle. They were discouraged. Yes, they were weary. While in the midst of the storm. They felt like God had abandoned him of them without hope. And I stopped by to tell you, my brothers and sisters, little did they know. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. Jesus was already there mm -hmm. all the time. Yeah. Because he is God. Oh yes, even while in the midst of the storms, even while in the midst of this pandemic, God is right there all the time. Even in the midst of your struggles, even in the midst of difficulty, even in the midst of trying your time, because Jesus knows your problem, Jesus knows your situation way before that you do. Jesus knows your pain. He knows your sorrow. He knows your grief. You hear it? He knows himself. 
that it's not easy to lose someone that you love. We read the scripture a few moments ago. John 11, chapter verse 35, because we talk about Lazarus, we're very good friends. Jesus' disciples will always take the time to go visit Mary, Martha, and Lazarus of Bethany, which was near Jerusalem. Jesus know all about it because he held the storm. Disciples both in his hand. Church, I don't know about you today. What a God that we serve. Oh man, I'm telling you, if it had not been for the Lord on my side, where would I be? I ask you, where will you be with the Lord on my side? Uh, you, be, you might not know it, but over eight years ago, this man, your preacher, thank God we had some trouble in the church and temple. But thank God, thank God, that this man, your preacher, Amen. had came to the rescue. Mm -hmm. He knew somebody that we needed. And guess what? And it came right on time. Amen. Oh, to bless his holy name. Yes, sir. Jesus know all about it. That's one thing about Jesus. Jesus don't have to rush away from prayer to all the comfort. Jesus don't have to rush away from prayer to give hope and refuge to the disciples because he's king of kings. Lord of Lord. What are you saying, Brother Donaldson? Even our daily walk of life, we ought to be depending, relying, and trusting on God's word and staying firm on his word regardless how it look. Regardless what it seems, Jesus is right there. Amen. Even in the midst of the storm. We got to remember Jesus never too far away. Jesus never too approachable. Jesus never too holy and to divide. Jesus ain't never busy to care of his own. First Peter 5 7, the Bible said, casting on your care upon him. For he cared for you. Jesus is our bridge of troubled waters. When we look at the word bridge, bridge is we have to say it is a structure that spans and provides safe passage to go across from one side to another. I like to use the terminology strong support that will take you from cross from danger and lead you to a safer side. The word trouble, we have to say is distress, affliction, danger, pain, chaos, disturbance, anxiety. This is what I like to use the terminology that Jesus is our bridge of trouble waters. He gives us a strong support reassurance, confidence, peace, rest, comfort, security, gives a hope of salvation yes, and eternal life. Yes, we can find the hope of eternal life in Christ. Even while we're going through some turbulent waters, while in the midst of the storm. I remember Paul said Titus 1 and verse number 2. The Bible says, in hope of eternal life, which God cannot lie, promised before the world began. Mm -hmm. Beloved, that's good news about the hope that we have in Christ Jesus. Yes, the hope that we have in Christ, hope will bring peace in the time of turmoil. Hope will bring joy yes, in the time of sadness. Hope will bring light in the time of darkness. Hope will bring calmness in the time of disturbance. Hope will bring help in the time of need. Hope will bring clarity in the time of confusion. Hope will bring comfort in the time of discomfort. Hope will bring strength in the time of weakness. Hope will bring love in the time of hate. Hope bring faith in the time of unbelief. Hope will bring certainty in the time of uncertainty. Hope will bring stability in the time of instability. Hope will bring a courage in the time of facing your fear. Hope will encourage the face of discouragement. We need him to carry us through 
in life, yes, sir. we should know it and realize that trouble comes to every heart. Amen. We know men and women, it seems like trouble finds us on every hand in life. That includes sickness, death, persecutions, depression, loneliness, grief, sorrow, disappointment. Whatever the case may be, we need Christ to be our stronghold. We need that Christ to be our strong support of comforting, troubling hearts. We need to let Christ to be our bridge over our troubled waters. Yes, Jesus said in Matthew 16, John 16, excuse me, John 16, 33, that in me you might have peace, but in the word peace is calmness, tranquility, rest, quietness, but in the word that's a hell of tribulation. Tribulation signifies trouble, trial, conflict, struggles, hardship, disturbance, suffering, persecutions, and more. Then Jesus goes to say, you got to live for him and obey him what it says. Yes, I'm talking about Jesus is a bridge of troubled waters. Brother King, Yes, sir. I want you to give me, if you will, if you will, I want you to give me 1 Peter, 1 Peter 5 and verse number 10. 1 Peter 5 and verse number 10 as we go through. But I got to tell you, if we're going to suffer, Christ has suffered. You know the scripture, Hebrew 5, 8, 9. Oh, yes. Uh, when, it, when he said, though it was son, yet burned by the beating by the thing which he had suffered, being in the made perfect, yes, he came to offer an eternal salvation to all of them that obey him. Anytime you're going to follow Christ, suffer, oh yeah, is a package deal. But go up, if you will, Mark 10, 29 and 30, excuse me, Mark 10 and 29 and 30. Mark 10 and 29 30. And I want you to read Mark 10, 29 30. Start with verse number 28. Mark 10. And we're going to wrap this thing up. Then Peter. Then Peter. Now watch this. Say him. Now, watch this now. Mark 10, 28. And going down to 30. What did the Bible say? So to him, Lord. The Bible said, Peter said, Lord. We have left all. Peter said, now watch this. And follow. We had the Lord you. Jesus, we have everything to follow you. In other words, read on. And Jesus answered and said, What really Peter was saying, we have everything for you, Jesus, to follow you. But what Peter was saying, what's in it for me? Since we have everything. Since I left my family, Peter was mad. In other words, he let Jesus know what's in it for me. Since I left all to follow you. Now verse 29. And Jesus answered and said, Verily I say Jesus said, I verily say unto you, There is no man that has left house. No man that left house. A brother. Brother. A sister. Sister. sister a father. Read. A mother. Mother. A wife. Wife. A children. Children. A man. Read. For my sake. For my sake. And the gospel. And the gospel. Read. But he shall receive a hundredfold name. Holy. This time house. He said, this time house. The brother. Brother. Sister. Sister. Mother. Free. Children. Free. Land. Say. With persecution. What you say? With persecution. All of that stuff. With persecution. And all that right. gold in following Jesus. That is a package deal. <laughs> don't tell me won't. The Bible said, don't tell me won't. Give me John the 15th chapter. In verse number 18. And why I'm giving you book, chapter, and verse. In the time you follow Jesus, you're going to suffer. And you're going to be persecuted. They persecuted him, they're going to persecute you. We are following Christ. No wonder Paul says, 2 Timothy 3 12, all that he have godly in Christ Jesus shall suffer persecution. But guess what? It don't matter. 
Because Jesus is my bridge over trouble water. Brother, give me John 15 chapter. Yes, sir. And verse number 13. We're going to work this day. All right. Yes, sir. Greater love hath no man. Read on. Yes. Read. That a man lay down his life for his freedom. Yes, sir. That's verse 18. Verse 18 is. Read. If the world hates you. Now, watch this. If the world hate you, Jesus talked. He talked to the disciples. If they hate you, guess what they're going to do? You know that it hated me. It hated me before they hated you. Read on. If ye were of the world. Now, if you were the world, it doesn't matter. The world would have loved his own. The world would have loved his own. You have to keep on clubbing. <laughs> keep on shacking. Keep on doing what, uh, what, what the world people do. Hell, also my horse is why they did. Read on. But because ye are not of the world. Because you are not of the world. We are in the world, but we're not of the world. We don't do what the world people do. Read. But I have chosen you out of the world. But I chose you out of the world. That means that you obey the gospel. Chose you out of the way. You're not doing that stuff no more as you used to do. Read on. Therefore the world hated you. Now the world hates you. Because you're not doing the things of the world. The world signifies darkness, sin, wickedness, evil. That's the word. That's why Jesus is the light of the world. John 8 and verse number 12. I'm the light of the world. Why? Because the world is full of sin. The world is full of darkness, wickedness, evil. And guess what? It's still evil. Well, you can see that. Read on. Remember. Jesus, the the now, 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 now uh, uh, disciples, we are disciples of me. We are following Christ. We belong to Christ. I want you to remember. Don't you forget. You remember. What do you say? I said unto you, the servant is not greater. The than servant the Lord. is not greater than his Lord. Watch this. If they have persecuted me. Hold it. If they have persecuted me. They will also persecute you. What you say? Will also persecute you. They're going to persecute you. There's no difference. That's a package deal. But it's what? A father in Jesus. If they did Christ, guess what? They're going to do you. All the way to live God in Christ Jesus shall suffer. Persecution. Look what the Bible says. But what does persecution do? The Bible says the first Peter 5 and verse number 10. I got three minutes. <laughs> I'm watching the clock, y'all. I'm looking at it. First Peter 5, verse number 10. But the God of all grace. But the God of all grace. Who had called us unto his eternal glory. Who called us Christ to his eternal glory. After that, ye have suffered a, a while. Hold it. After that, you have suffered a while. A while. Oh, why? Let me work with that. Why? Why it could be a day? Why it could be a week? It could be a month. It could be a year. It could be five years. Ten years. What, what Peter said is a why. It's just a season. What, what it really said is temporary. It's not everlasting. That's why it's a why. Read on. Make you perfect. When you suffer for Jesus, for why? It's a reason why you suffer for Jesus, for why? To develop, to mold, to mature you and make you what? Perfect. Perfect. Established. Brother Donaldson. Straight. I hold it. But perfect. How can I get some perfect? How can I get some perfect? How can I get some be perfect for some suffering? Peter said you do. For a while. It builds you. The character. So you. It strengthens you. Not only for a while. But while you're going through your hardships. While you're going through your pain. Your grief. Your sorrow. Your rejection. Your loneliness. Your disappointment. It's just a while. But while you're going through that. Calling on the name of the Lord. Holding it, knowing that God will be there for you. 
He already said his word. He already said the word. The Bible said the Hebrew 13. Stay right there. Hebrew 13 verse number 5. He said, I never leave you. No, I forsake you. Why are you going through your suffering? Jesus telling me, I'm there with you. Help you along in your suffering, your frustration, your heartache, your pain, your hurt, your grief, your sorrow, your loneliness. Read on. Back. After, after he said perfect. I don't change. Okay, after he said perfect. Okay, he, uh, 3 Peter 5 and verse 14. You suffer for a while, it makes you perfect. Yes, sir. Make you perfect. Yes, Establish. Yes, Stay holy. And that's a decision. See, see what you got to say right there. Stash. That means you ain't going nowhere. I don't care what the heat is on. You're going to stay right here. Ain't nobody going to run me out to church. Ain't no disease going to run me out to church. My daughter is bigger than the, than the pandemic. Oh, yes. It's going to establish me. Me, I'm not going nowhere. It's going to establish me. I'm not going nowhere. That's why Paul said, First Corinthians 15, chapter, verse 3, Therefore, uh, he said, Therefore, be ye steadfast, unmovable, always abound, not just every now and then, always abound in the work of the Lord. But don't you know your labor is not in vain in the Lord. When I'm holding on to Jesus' hand, establish me. Not only I suffer for why. And it make me perfect, mold me, develop me, and then uh, establish me. And then what else to do? Strength. Would you be oh, but I'm gonna get some strength. In my trying times, I'm gonna get some strength for my frustrations, my headaches, my grief, my sorrow. You mean I'm gonna do? I, I'm getting all of that. Peter said you will if you hold on to Jesus' hand. I'm going to get some strength. And then what is that? Sell you. Go to sell. In other words, I don't calm down. That's right. I calm down with peace and tranquility. Mm -hmm. The Bible says, John 16, 33, Jesus said in me, you might have peace. But in the world, you're going to have tribulations. We don't say what tribulations is. It's chaos. Turmoil. Oh yeah, storms, all this stuff that we have having right now. Tribulations. But look what he tells us. Not only that it will make us perfect, not only establish us, not only we get some strength for it, but he said, why are you going through all these changes? He says what? Be a good cheer. That's what he said. Don't fall down and say, why me? Boo hoo hoo. <laughs> he said, be a good cheer. Why? It has a reason why. Because he let you know I am God. I control everything. He said, be of good cheer. Because I have overcome the world. The world is mine. And ain't nobody going to take it from me. All this stuff you see, it might be allowed to do it, but it's up to God. God is full of control. Yes. He already just said this word in Matthew the 28th, chapter 18, when he got it from the grave. He let us know all power is given unto me. Hell and earth. Go therefore and teach all nations. Baptizing them in the name of the Father, the Son, and the Holy Ghost. Teach them that all that which I command you. And, it, and not only that, and lo, I will be with you to the end. Oh Lord, what boy, I feel like preaching now. Oh. That's the gospel. Amen. Bridge our trouble waters. Give me Jay, give me First John 4. And I promise you, First John. <laughs> First John 4. I mean First John 5, verse number 14. Man, this is my last night. <laughs> I'm just having a good time. Y'all gave us the raw treatment. Yeah. And the Bible says, And this is the confidence. Oh. As children of God, this is the confidence that we have in Him. That we have in Him. That if we ask anything according to His will, if we ask anything, this is my little small pocket Bible. 
I carry this every day. I don't care that one. If we ask anything according to his will, he him, hear us. He hear us. You come out here in the gospel. Do you believe? With all your heart, mind, and soul. The Bible lets us know Romans 10, 17, they come out hearing. Hearing by the word of God. Do you believe? That's a fact of the gospel. Show the death, very resurrection of our Lord and Savior Jesus Christ. 1 Corinthians 15, chapter verse 1 through 4. Do you believe in all your heart, mind, and soul? Acts 15, 7, Hebrews 11, 6. But without faith, it's impossible to please him. He that come to God must believe that he is. And you are the one that diligently seek him. Are you willing to repent of your sins? Luke 13, 35. Jesus said, I tell your name, except repent. You shall all likewise perish. Acts 17, 30, that time they ain't just God weak. Uh, we're weak there. You can command all men everywhere to repent. Acts 3 and verse number 19. You confess with the mouth that Jesus Christ is the Son of God. Do like Peter did when Jesus came to the coast of Caesarea and Philippi. The Bible says, Matthew 16, 16, that I the Christ, the Son of the living God. Here, believe, repent, confess, and, and that's unto salvation. But one going to put you into Christ, and that's baptism for the missions of sin. That's to they repent and be baptized. Every one of you in the name of Jesus Christ for the missions of sin. Jesus said in Mark 16 and 16, he that believeth and is baptized shall be saved. He that believeth not shall be damned. He that believeth not me, he that refused, he that rejected, he that disregard even the, the, the plan of salvation or even the church, you will be lost. Oh yes, Paul said in Galatians 3, 26, 27, for the faith, Galatians 3, 26, 27, for we are all children of God by faith in Christ Jesus. For many of you have been baptized into Christ. You have put on Christ. That preposition from unto changed to into when you go in that liberal of baptism for the remission of sin. That God Not Moses, not Elijah Muhammad, not St. Mary, St. Peter, 
St. Peter and all this other kind of stuff. Cowboy chaps everywhere. The Bible said unto him, be glory in the church by Christ Jesus throughout all ages. World without end. Everything I share. Full chapter and nurse. Yes, my brothers and sisters, my friends and my neighbors, I'm talking about Jesus, our bridge over troubled waters we gather stand. I've sinned against you, Lord. I admit that I've done wrong. Well, I'm just like the prodigal son, and I'm on my way back home. Lord, I'm down on a big dead knee, begging you to save this soul of mine. So please forgive me, Jesus. Try me one more time. So wonderful to have a Savior who forgives us of our sins. So good to give us. Maybe go that straight away the wrong way. And you need to come to the Lord. Don't put off tomorrow that you can do right now. Don't jeopardize your soul for salvation. When you come to Jesus, 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 I get carried away. I'm just a plain old country boy. I just, I get, I, once I get into it, I'm just, I, I'm, it just gets good to you, yeah. uh, Brother Gary. <laughs> and uh, we just appreciate all the system congregations, we appreciate those that travel so far and near to come in support of this great uh, effort that we are trying uh, to do. And y'all doing a marvelous job. I tell you, Sister Donaldson have really enjoyed ourselves. Y'all have gave us the red carpet treatment, and I'm overwhelmed. I tell you what, it's just a blessing that we got great people, great uh, members, and that's uh, so diligently you're working together as a fellowship, and the wonderful fellowship that we have each and every time. Just keep on doing the great work that you're doing. We just thank you so much. Always good to see Brother Cottenham. Uh, we go back over the years when Brother Blair had him. That's another chart man. And normally, I tell you everywhere I go, I, I use my charts. It's the first time uh, uh, for being a, in a revival or the gospel meeting, I have used my charts. I got all the Brother Blair charts. I got 300 of them. Yeah. And so everywhere I go, I use my charts. And so that's what I brought up. I'm an old gospel preacher. So I'm just an old country boy, country preacher. I talk loud in the country, but that's the way I am. In other words, what you see is what you get. <laughs> Amen. What you see is what you get. Nothing fancy. And just try to preach the naked truth, the gospel. And we certainly appreciate your minister for doing a great job here. And y'all keep on working together. And he certainly he's a blessing to me and Sister uh, King as well. And we can't thank you for the bottom of our heart, all of you brothers and everything. As we leave on tomorrow between 7.30, only thing I can say, thank you, thank you, thank you for the bottom of of my heart. I'm just a nobody trying to tell everybody about somebody who can save anybody in his name is Jesus Christ. We love you and thank you for all the raw treatment that you have given us. I tell you, we're we going to hate to leave here. <laughs> Amen. But I know a good thing we got to go. And we just thank you so much, Brother King. I really appreciate for everything that you have blessed us with. Thank you so Amen. much. Amen. 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 You know we're not going to Tag on that any longer, done a dynamic job. <laughs> <laughs>